HBO's 2013 Fighter of the Year, Gennady Golovkin, will not be defending his WBA World Middleweight crown on HBO this Saturday. He'll be doing it right here live on Fight Network, and he'll be putting his title on the line against Asimanu Adama at the Sal des Etoiles in Monte Carlo with a very solid undercard beneath him. Now, Triple G has looked so dangerous throughout the past 18 months that he's in the rare and somewhat unenviable spot of just now getting avoided by anyone in the middleweight division who has anything at all to lose. Simply put, he's pretty much run out of recognizable names who have any desire to fight him until Sergio Martinez decides to risk his lineal title. With Martinez tied up with Miguel Cotto and Peter Quillen seemingly willing but landlocked on Showtime, Golovkin is forced to find challenges wherever he can. In Adama, he'll find one that has been durable throughout his career, most notably giving former IBF champ Daniel Giel a competitive fight in 2012. But we also probably saw his ceiling in his struggle with 43-year-old Grady Brewer and a loss to a 2010 version of Don George. Regardless, the appeal in Golovkin fights isn't rooted in his competition. It's almost perverse at this point. What is he going to do to this guy? And people keep tuning in to find out. Now in the co-feature on Saturday, former minimum weight kingpin in Kosanati Joyi takes just his second fight at 108 against journeyman Ray Laredo. There was a time when Joyi was both the most avoided 105 pounder on the planet and seemingly unbeatable. But then unheralded Mario Rodriguez put a stop to the hype, buzz sawing through him in just seven rounds back in 2012. After his countryman Hecky Boodler beat him last year, he decided to jump up in weight. If he wants to jump up to bigger opportunities at light flyweight, and there are certainly plenty of those if he wants to travel to Mexico or Japan, he'll first have to get past Ray Laredo. Now, Laredo's 17 and 13 record doesn't look too great on paper, but he certainly was impressive upsetting former world champion Porn Sawan Porpramuk on the road in Thailand. The hitman is a lot like his countryman Ray Magrino, who also has an underwhelming record, but has managed to stay relevant and always produces action fights. Laredo has exactly the kind of brazen attitude in the ring that could spell trouble for Joy Yi if he's not sure of himself moving up in weight. The rest of the undercard will also feature top 10 middleweight contender Max Bursak and hot cruiserweight prospect Junior Makubu. The action gets underway at noon Eastern time and you can watch it live in Canada exclusively right here on Fight Network.